All right, some students asked if I could make some uh, video on graphing quadratic equations in standard form. So here it is. So our goal here is to graph it. At the end, we will try to remember to list the domain and the range. All right, we've got these steps we're gonna go through. Um, quadratic in standard form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So when we refer to a, b, and c, we're talking about the coefficients. a is the coefficient on the x squared, b is the coefficient on the x term, and then c is your constant. First step is to find and graph the axis symmetry. Axis symmetry is always x equals negative b over 2a. So the negative is from the formula, then b happens to be negative 4 over 2 times a, which is 2. The opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So our axis symmetry is x equals 1. So it's a vertical line that will end up going through our vertex on these parabolas. So we found x equal to 1. We graphed it. Now we're going to plug in 1 into this equation. So everywhere we see an x, we're going to put 1. So looking at this equation at the beginning, y equals 2x squared. We're going to replace x with 1. Minus 4 times 1 plus 3. Oops. Now we'll use order of operations to simplify that right side. So exponents come before multiplication and addition or subtraction. 1 squared is 1. 1 times 1. Now we'll multiply from left to right. We don't have any division to worry about. 2 times 1 is 2. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Add and subtract from left to right. So we see 2 minus 4, that's negative 2. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. So what we just found is called the vertex. It is the place where that will either be our minimum or our maximum on our parabola. All right, so we plotted a point at the vertex 1, 1. Now we're going to put in x values to the right of that. So I'm going to put 2 in. So everywhere we saw an x in the original equation, we're going to put 2. 2 squared, that's 2 times 2, that's 4. Now we'll multiply from left to right. 2 times 4 is 8. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Add and subtract from left to right. 8 minus 8 is 0. 0 plus 3 gives us 3. All right, so we have a point at 2, 3. All right, let's put another point to the right of the vertex. So we already did two, let's put three in. So everywhere there's an X, we're gonna put a three. Exponents three times three is nine. Next we'll multiply from left to right. 2 times 9 is 18. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Negative, and we'll add and subtract from left to right. 18 minus 12 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. So we've got a point at 3, 9. Now we're going to reflect these points. So 3, 9 is 2 units away from the axis symmetry. So 2 units away on the other side will be negative 1, 9. Reflect 2, 3. That's 1 unit away. So 1 unit away on the other side will be the point 0, 3. Now we'll connect that with a smooth curve.
This is called a parabola. The um, It's a U-shape that sometimes opens up, sometimes opens down. Notice it's symmetrical. It, you can reflect the points to the right of the axis symmetry over that to the left. The domain. Any real number we want, we can put in there into the equation and find it. We can replace x with any real number and we can get a y value. So the domain is all real numbers. You can use this symbol, basically a capital R with a double stem, or you can write out the phrase all real numbers. Now for the range, that's the y values. Notice we have a lowest y value at 1. All the other y values are above that. So our range is y is greater than or equal to 1. This time we have a is negative 3, b is 6, c is 1. We're going to find that axis symmetry and graph it. So x equals negative b. Negative is from the formula. b is 6 over 2 times a. a is negative 3. The opposite of, neg of 6 is negative 6. On the bottom, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Negative 6 divided by negative 6 is 1. So we happen to have the same x symmetry. Certainly does not always happen to be x equal to 1. But it is always a vertical line. So we did step 1. We found the x symmetry. And we graphed it. Step 2. Find the vertex by replacing the x with 1 with that value from the axis symmetry. Now we'll use our order of operations to simplify this. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. 6 times 1 is 6. Add and subtract. Oh, sorry. 1 squared is 1. Yeah, I'll write it again. So 1 squared is 1. Next, we'll multiply from left to right and get the negative 3 and 6. Now we'll add and subtract from left to right. Negative 3 plus 6 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. So we have a vertex at 1, 4. So this is our vertex, that's going to be our either minimum or maximum point. Next we're going to replace x with values that are uh, to the right of 1 or higher than 1. We'll go with 2. So we have y equals negative 3 times 2 squared plus 6 times 2 plus 1. x minus first 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4. Multiply from left to right. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. 6 times 2 is 12. Add and subtract from left to right. Negative 12 plus 12 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. So we have a, vert or a uh, point at 2, 1. Next, we'll put in 3, so everywhere there's an x, we'll replace that with 3. Exponents. 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9. Multiply from left to right, and we're using order of operations. We get negative 27 plus 18 plus 1. Negative 27 plus 18 is negative 9. Negative 9 plus 1 is negative 8. Now you'll notice that this one falls off the grid. 
Um, so we will just work with the points that fell on the grid. Now we'll reflect 0.21, get 0, 1, and then we'll connect those with the smooth curve. It's a parabola opening up, or excuse me, opening down, so it has a maximum point at the vertex. Now as far as domain and range, domain we can put any real number into this and get a y value out, so the domain is all real numbers. And then the range, the y values go up to four, so, but all the rest of them are below 4, so y is less than or equal to 4. Alright, this time a is 1, b is negative 2. We don't see the c, so c is 0. Axis symmetry, x equals negative b over 2a. Negative, negative 2, the opposite of negative 2 over 2 times 1. The opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Again, I promise you that the axis symmetry is not always x equal to 1, but just happened to create some problems that did have that axis symmetry. Now let's plug in 1 into the equation. This equation will work a little quicker since we don't have as many numbers. 1 squared. 1, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. And 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So we got a vertex at 1, negative 1. Now let's pick some values to the right of x, or right of 1. So we'll put 2 in. y equals 2 squared minus 2 times 2. 2 squared is 4. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. 4 minus 4 gives us 0. So we've got a point at 2, 0. And then next we'll put in 3. Three squared, three times three is nine. Multiply negative two times three is negative six. Subtract, you get three. So we got a point at three, three. Now we'll reflect these points across the axis symmetry. And then we'll connect those with a smooth curve. It's a parabola opening up this time. Now as far as domain and range, domain we can put any real number into this equation so our domain is all real numbers now the range range is all the y values the y values go uh, the lowest y value is negative one everything else is above that so the range is y is greater than or equal to negative one so we got a parabola opening up notice a was positive Let's look back. A was negative here at up and down. A was positive here at up and up. That happens every time. If A is positive, it opens up. If A is negative, it opens down. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out my website, swayze.weebly.com. Peace.